You are listening to Jerry Royce Live Worldwide Podcast. Welcome, welcome, welcome to Past This Time International Teaching Ministry. I am Dr. Paul Kelly, your host. And we'd like to thank each and every one of you for tuning in. Amen. Before we get to our show, I would like to make a, a quick announcement. Amen. After speaking with Dr. Bobby Jones, executive producer, uh, due to uh, his scheduling, uh, pre, uh, pre-scheduling, amen, and also the weather, we are going to have to reschedule his show. However, I have some awesome and powerful news for the Power of Power family. Amen. I am honored to announce, amen, that uh, Pastor's Time has been extending an invitation, amen, to be a special guest on the Bobby Jones Presents Impact Network TV. Amen. Live, amen, on April 14, 2018 at, at 10 a.m. I'm honored to be uh, there on that particular show. Uh, and also, we'd like to thank, amen, Dr. Bobby Jones, executive producer, for uh, speaking with me today. But we do have a power show lined up on today. Are you ready? Amen. It's all, God says, be ye also ready. We have with us tonight the powerful, powerful, powerful Paula G. Amen. Host of the Paula G. Amen. Boy Show, talk show. Amen. On Positive Power 21.org. Worldwide Christian media. And we also have, an, we also have Batman, Dr. Jerry Ross, going to be hanging out with us today. We're going to be discussing, amen, praise God. Uh, in the wake of gun violence, we're going to be discussing, amen, some powerful scriptures to help us get through, amen, this, amen. God said, don't, don't allow yourself to give up. Don't, don't grow weary in doing well. Don't throw in the towel. So after we come out of this prayer, we're going to get right to this dynamite topic, amen, on pressing your way through pressing your way through. Don't give up. Don't give up. Don't throw the towel in. Join me in prayer. Amen. And we're going to get right to this powerful discussion. Again, we do apologize, amen, for the weather. Amen. But God has powerful things in control. Amen. Join me in prayer. Father God, we come on this evening. We come on this evening, God, just to give you thanks. We come, O oh God, Father, just to say, only you knows, and all things is in your hand. O oh God, Father, in the wake 
of gun violence and gun shootings, amen, and bomb threats, amen, and, and hunger, amen, and homelessness on the street, amen, divorces and separations. Oh, God, Father, we know that you are still there for us. So, God, we ask tonight, Father, just to keep your hands around us. Thank you for Jerry Royce. Thank you for Paul G. Thank you for Dr. Finnell. Thank you for Shay. Amen. Thank you for all of the positive power family. Thank you for Ron Jefferson. Thank you for those who are tuning in on tonight. And we ask you to bless Dr. Bond. Amen. In his travels, we thank you for his producer, Thomas Davidson. We thank you for, for the whole platform, oh God. But we thank you right now because we have a special show on tonight. So bless us. Let the words of my mouth and the meditations of my heart, let it be acceptable in thy sight and in thy sight only. It is in Jesus' name that we pray, amen and amen. Praise God. Can amen. we give God some praise out there tonight, listeners, right? Amen. Just give him some praise, amen, some hearts, amen, some shouts, amen. Miss Paula G., are you with us tonight? I am with you this evening. Good evening, Pastor. Good evening, Positive Power family. Good evening, Jerry Roy. Hey, hey. Ah, hallelujah. Hey, hey. <laughs> Good evening, our producer, Dr. Jerry Roy. How are you doing this evening, sir? Awesome, awesome. And um, again, uh, thank you, Paula G., for joining us, for sitting in for Dr. Bobby Jones. We got Paula G., y'all. <laughs> <Man>. <laughs> my girl. All Absolutely. Right. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Again, we apologize again to um, all the listeners. But we appreciate everybody's support because everybody was really out there pumping it up. And, you know, we was going to have a, a great warm welcome for him. But we're going to reschedule that. So he will be here, y'all. So no, don't worry. Don't worry. All right. Yeah. All right. And we appreciate <laughs> you, Dr. Yeah. Kelly, Dr. Kelly, for Thank putting this all together. Man. Amen. Praise God. Positive power, positive power family. I was speaking with nations and viewers out there. Thank you for tuning in. I was speaking with Dr. Jerry Royce today. Amen. And he basically shared with me, amen, and always, always to be ready. Praise God. We are ready. Mm-hmm. And God said, be you also ready. So I thank him, amen. We all, with God always have, oftentimes, amen, we sometimes we we look for things, Amen. Uh, but God already has a plan. He already has a plan. I think something more powerful is going to come out of this, Amen. They already mm-hmm. reached out mm-hmm. to us. They uh, the uh, positive power family. They actually said that they're honored for the most part. He was honored to come on this show, Doctor Bobby Jones, Amen. But his executive. His executive producer, I'm sorry, his assistant, Thomas Davidson, amen, talk with me for about five minutes. He is in Washington. Thomas Davidson is in Washington, amen. Uh, but for the most part, he extended, amen, a gracious invitation for uh, pastor's time to come on an, uh, a live taping, amen, uh, on Bobby Jones Presents Impact TV. So that's powerful. I'm part of the positive mm-hmm. power family. And I would love just to see my family, positive power family, there. Praise God. Amen. <laughs> so I know something more powerful is going to come out of this, but he is rescheduling, though. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Yes. Praise God. Yes. Everything has a Amen. season. That's right. That's yes. Right. Amen. Listeners, are you all ready? Amen. Yes, ma'am. Go ahead, sister. Go ahead, Dr. Paula G. Oh no! I, I was just saying that every every everything has a season, and even though we are saying we are ready, perhaps God is saying not yet, because as you said, He's preparing something even greater. Mm. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Hallelujah! Right. And, and, and I'm gonna say this, y'all. We, uh, we, you know, um, hopefully this is a good broadcast. But we are having a, a winter storm here in the Maryland area, and I'm barely pulling you guys in. We barely. Pulling both because I know you guys are coming out of Atlanta and y'all probably coming through the mm-hmm. same um, bridge. It's a bridge. Uh, the company got bridges all over the place, and they, I think we bouncing off of one bridge. So we're we're fighting to keep you guys broadcasting. So uh, hopefully we we'll be able to get wow. off a good show. And everybody, stay tuned because at yeah. eleven o'clock we got. I mean, ten thirty we got Dr. Trinell, and she got a fantastic guest who's super excited to to come on here. So I'm going to hit her, make sure that we are on schedule for her show. And hopefully, uh, this, the bridge will hold up. Okay, all right, Amen. 
Yeah, oh, exactly. uh, well, you know, we prayed, we prayed over that earlier today, so. Yeah. Remember, we prayed Thank over that earlier it. today. That yeah. all the technology and whatever needs to come together will come together. Amen. Praise God. Praise God. Amen. Listeners and viewers out there, amen, I want to remind you all tonight, amen, and thank the positive power listeners out there, the viewers, praise God, we thank each and every one of them, and we thank Dr. Jerry Royce for, amen, for allowing us to just be a part of this ministry, amen, we have a, God brought me up a, a powerful, powerful subject matter several years ago in reference to gun violence, literally, wow. and it's in my third book. Literally, praise God. And we're going to discuss this, amen, in the matter of Scripture, as Jerry Royce so eloquently shared with me today. Amen. <laughs> amen. Through Scripture, uh, Paul G. Amen. And we're going to get right to this, amen. Listeners out there, how many of you all remember in the text in Galatians 6, 7, and 9, amen. I just ask you to just grab your Bibles because this is going to impact someone out there, some families out there, amen, to don't give up, amen. Uh, l- let us not grow weary while doing good, amen. In Galatians 6, 7 through 9, Paul, amen, was talking to the Galatians. He was talking to literally, symbolically us, the believers. He said, be not deceived. God is not marked. Whatever a man sowed. And just think about think about the gun violence. Think about bombings. Amen. Think about all these things that are going on, amen, and and mark it here in Galatians six, seven through nine. Paul said, Be not deceived. God is not marked. Whatever man soweth, that shall he also reap. And I want to look at eight, verse 8, eight, and we're going to go into this topic, amen, this topic of pressing your way through. Even in a relationship, amen, press your way through. Even in, in the wake of God, amen, is sending you that right husband or that right wife. Pray your way through. Can somebody say amen out there? Amen. <laughs> amen. amen. Even in the wake of, of all the confusion, God said, press your way through. This is for somebody tonight. Amen. And that verse 8 of Galatians, the 6th chapter, I want us to play, pay very close attention to what the Spirit is saying. For he who sows of the flesh will of the flesh reap corruption. The, the nation you all call that, viewers, Bible studies, leaders, when we read into Scripture, amen, the Greek term is called exegy and eisegy. When we read into the scripture, amen, we are exegy. When we're bringing it out, is eisegy. God, he reveals to us. He revealed this to me years ago, amen, only if we sow of the flesh, of the flesh, we will reap corruption. Many of our ancestors was brought here, amen, from Africa. Watch where I'm going with this nation. Amen. Mm-hmm. And they were brought against they were brought here against their own will. Oh my God. This is this is gonna get deep and it's gonna touch and it's gonna help somebody. Mm-hmm. When we when we when we reap a man uh, uh, a corrupted type of spirit, God will it will soon catch up with you. But he who sows the spirit, a man, will reap everlasting life. Remember now, Paul said he who sows of the spirit will reap everlasting life. Amen. But he said, he who sows of the flesh, will the flesh reap corruption. In the wake of gun violence, amen, our slaves, uh, the slaves that was entrapped, that was coming over, or that was brought over here, that was against their own will. These particular people who brought them here, amen, they were not really thinking, amen, how God was going to, Turn that around. Oh my God. Amen. So what I want I want I want to keep this in the perspective of the of the of the scripture and of the spirit. We're not blaming nobody. All we are doing is reading what the scripture says and we're understanding what the what the spirit is saying. Look at verse nine. Amen. We're looking at if nation, if you're just tuning in, we're 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 gonna dis- discuss a powerful topic on pressure way through. 
Let us not grow weary while doing good. For in due season you shall reap. If you faint not, don't give up. Don't give in. Don't don't throw in the towel. Don't put in the time clock right now. Don't don't even say I, I can't I can't take this anymore. Amen. God is exposing corruption. And I'm gonna stop right there and bring in Amen Dr. Paula G on this. Amen. Sister Paula G, Doctor, can you share with us, Amen, how God, I know, I know, I know the gun violence and the bomb and all this is going on and uh, incidents, these incidents that are uh, are occurring right now with our young folks, amen, pressing their way through. Talk to us, Mrs. Paula G., on how God has triumphed you through your struggles, through your trials, amen. And we'll get to the gun violence, amen, but I, I, I want you to help somebody tonight, ma'am, on Sharing with them how God has triumphed you, even through your trials, man, and you press your way through, man. You didn't give up. That's an apology. It, well, thank you, Pastor Kelly, so much, and, and thank you for the invitation to join you this yes. evening yeah. on your show. It is indeed an honor and a pleasure, and I'm so excited to be here. Hallelujah. Th- thank you, ma'am. You're, you're welcome. Thank you, man. <laughs> <laughs> To answer your question, what I have learned in my journey is focus. My Lord. And by that I mean keeping your, as the scripture tells us, keeping your eye on the prize and keeping your eye focused. I often, you know, remember that stormy sea. And mm. what happened when eyes were taken off of off of Jesus in that uh, in that um, scene? What happened? People, he began he, to think. Yes. Mm. So, with that being said, and I, I I can recall one time I was I was on a cruise with some friends and I couldn't sleep. It was about two o'clock in the morning. And I was out on the balcony and the waters were kind of rough, and mm. it was pitch black. You know, you couldn't you couldn't see your hand in front of you, and I stood on that deck. I think it was a out on the eighth deck or eighth floor, and I stood out there, and I and I had to say to myself, now if the voice of God came from the heavens right now, if the Paul would step mm. on the side of that cruise ship and walk to me, <laughs> wow. would would I have been able to do that? Would I have mm. been able to do that? You know, so it you know kind of put Peter in a whole different perspective. That particular night, because it was dark past the fog was coming up off the ocean. You could hear the waves slapping up against the side of the, of the, um, yes. you know, of the ship. And I, and I have to be honest, I was, I would stand there. I said, if that would occurred, I would stand there and I would have to ask for about three, four, five, six fleeces. Lord, you got to throw a fleece on this so I know it's your voice and, you know, mm. not, not some other voice that I'm hearing. But I said all that to say that it did teach mm. me a lesson about keep in the midst of whatever it is that is going on in our world. We are on solid ground. We are always on solid ground. Now, save, you know, if you're in an airplane or what have you, we are on solid ground, and God is still asking us on solid ground to keep our eyes focused on Him, regardless of what is going on to our left, regardless of what is going on to our right. And sometimes, for for me, what it has been has been that conversation in between my my ears. I always have wow. this saying on my show that the greatest conversation that you will ever have is the one that takes place in between your ears. What are you speaking to yourself and is God a part of that conversation? So for yes. me, it turned into keeping my eye focused on God and wow. keeping my thoughts focused. It is a challenge. It is not easy because sometimes there was a time in my life where the obstacles were coming so quickly so fast and so loud, it was difficult for me to hear God's voice because my voice was in the midst of that as well because of the emotions at the time that I was going through, anger and fear and hurt and pain. Those, the voices of those emotions, plus what was physically going on around me, all were very distracting. But during that time, it taught me mm. to keep my eye focused. And on that journey of going through that challenging time, 
It mm-hmm. also taught me there was a point where I said, you know what, there's so much noise going on. I heard one wow. voice, and it said, on, so just cool. be still. And yes, yes. on that journey, there was a, a time where I just had to stand still. And when I say stand still, just pause in my life. You know, not making any job changes, not making any financial changes, not making any relationship changes, mm-hmm. just standing still still at that moment in my life till all of the noise, all yes. of the noise was ex- extinguished and all of the noise was settled until I could hear God's clear voice. And when I say stand still, I'm not talking about standing still for five minutes or a day. It was a few months where I, yes, where I just stood still in my life, if you will. I just stood still, did the basic things that I needed to do, of course, go to work, take care of myself, take care of my children, but just stood still until all the noise, all of the voices, all of the emotional voices in my head subsided until I could hear his voice say, okay, now you can take a step. And even when I took that step, I didn't know where he was taking me, but I trusted and believed he was leading me out of the situation that that Come I'm on, in. sister. Yes. Woo! So that's... <laughs> so wow. That body. Yes. No, I, that uh, was not an, that doc- was not an easy lesson. It was not an easy lesson. <laughs> no, Dr. Sir. G, that's, that's the folk. That's the, uh, that's the topic. That's the focus. What Paul is talking about here. Amen. Yeah. Galatians 6, 7 through 9. Amen. So what I heard out of that nation, if you're just tuning in, amen, we're, we're discussing tonight, amen, on pressing your way through. Amen. Don't 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 give in when, while doing good. Amen. And we have with us tonight, Amen. The powerful apology, Amen. Of the uh, the host of apology voice. Praise God. I'm mm-hmm. Power Power Twenty One and and Doctor Batman. Praise God, Sister. You, I, I picked up something out of that, Amen. You was talking about Peter, Peter Paddock, Amen. He he mm-hmm. he wasn't accustomed to those type of waves and those wind he, although he was a fisherman and an mm-hmm. entrepreneur he wasn't accustomed to that type of waves when jesus a man when he stepped out of the boat those other the yeah. other uh disciples was on the boat but their faith wasn't as strong as peter's yeah it was your faith that allowed yeah. you to stand still, sister. Amen. He also mm-hmm. said something that was very distinguished. Amen. However, when Peter began to sink, he stretched mm-hmm. out his hand saying, Amen, bid me to come to you, Jesus. You stretched mm-hmm. out your hand, sister. If you yeah. heard Jesus say, stand still. Yes. That's, that's, that's powerful, sister. Yes. Yes. Because I, you know, Thank you. I had, I had one of those late in the midnight hour moments where I was literally, we, it was 3.30 in the morning. I'll never forget it. I was weeping and wailing and just crying out to God. I was at home alone and I was just crying out to God. I was down on the floor, you know, that ugly cry, that sniffling, it's not oh, ugly cry. Lord. Down on the floor, and and I recall, and this is the honest truth, I recall just that I couldn't even, I didn't even know what to pray because I was crying so hard, but I just lifted my hand up. I just lifted my hand up in the midst of the of of my tears because I didn't know what to cry out for. I was just so hurt and so broken and confused and couldn't think straight, but I just lifted my hand up, and I kept it up. You know, until, until you know, I got weary and I, I fell asleep at some point. But, yes, even in the midst, if you, you know, you may think, someone may think that they're at the lowest point and mm. that God is not there, or that God is not hearing them, and they don't know which direction to go in. God is there. He's hearing you. He's hearing you, and and what you have to do is just keep your your thoughts focused, keep your mind focused, lift your hand to Him. And I know that's difficult in the midst of all that because you might be listening to this and and saying, "But I can't, I can't hear Him, I can't see Him." I understand. Mm-hmm. I know where you've been. I got the T-shirt to prove it. What I'm saying wow. is that you've got to continue to keep that focus on Him, continue to call out to Him, because at some point. 
he will answer. At some point, he will, he will drive you to get up off that floor. At some point, he will cause you to step out, to take that first step. And you might not know which direction to go in, but you just feel him moving in your spirit to take that first step. And when you take that first step, he'll show you uh, which way to take that second, second step, to the right, to the left, forward, oh. then the next step, and so forth and so on. So I'm just sharing what I know, not what I learned in the book, but what I know yes, as ma'am. a result of going through the journey of, of of a stronger relationship with Christ and what it looks like when you continue to keep that still, small voice in that conversation in between your ears as you journey through life because life is indeed a journey. It's a never-ending journey, and we are constantly, constantly learning, and we are constant students of our Lord and Savior, so it, it does not end. It's a journey. Wow. That's powerful. That's powerful. Praise God. Amen. Don't, 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 grow, don't, grow, don't grow weary while doing good for inducing yeah. and you should reap. Amen. That's that's the powerful. That's a, the nucleus. Amen. Even even in the brink of all this gun violence. Amen. The the shootings and the bombings and 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 all these different types of of uh, natural disasters. Even even down there in Baltimore, Batman. Uh, we 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 we're getting some weather. Amen. That is uh, non conducive. However, it is still. The hands of God that is carrying us through. Batman, share share with us tonight, sir, on how God has allowed you to press your way through, even in the in the uh, I would say, sir, in the arena of what's going on now. Even even in the journal, in the uh, radio podcast industry, how mm-hmm. have, how have you seen the hands of God allow you to press through, Batman, Doctor mm-hmm. Jerry Roy, sir? Well, Doc, you know, uh, you know, you and I talk all the time, you know, about um, some of the yes, challenges. Sir. You know, anytime you are, you know, you are a leader, you know, of any type of Come organization, on. enterprise, club. <laughs> I remember my brother used to tell me about the challenges <laughs> with his book club. <laughs> he used to make me laugh. I was like, yes, wow, and, and nobody's making no money. <laughs> That's supposed to be fun, enjoyable. But these ladies was giving him yes, so sir. much grief, so much stress. He was like, is it really worth it? And that's what you think sometimes when you take on a big task that God had put on your heart. And, and sometimes we think we think we hear him and we're not really quite sure. Come on. But we, you know, because all the noise that we experience these days because of the, the fast paced <laughs> news, the Twitter, the Instagram, the Facebook, you sometimes you can't yes, keep sir, up with dear. your own thoughts. And sometimes you do get a little wow. bit, you know, bogged down and, and then, yeah, you get mm-hmm. whipped up and, and, and deprived of energy and you're starving of um, nutrition and and sleep wow. deprived. And next thing you know, you find yourself falling into a depression and you're sad, you know, that mm-hmm. can easy happen to mm-hmm. leaders. And I know, remember, I remember hearing a story how they were saying that the nation's experience an all time high with suicides with pastors Mm -hmm. because one they starting to see the challenges of of entertaining their parishioners in in, in, because Mm -hmm. they need money to run the churches you know because someone went out there and built these td jake's size churches and they really didn't have the parishioners you know to keep it running you know or absolutely keep the keep the natives happy but uh you know, listening, you know, just thinking about those challenges, you know, spiritually, because that's what it, really what it is. Mm-hmm. It's the spiritual challenges that people are going through it's right now is what they see. The people are very visual right now. They're seeing other people doing well and now they're worried that they, you know, they have reached the age of 50 and 60 and they haven't seen their their ship coming yet. They haven't seen that cruise ship coming yet. And they wonder, God, when are you going to bless me with the the big house and the the the, the fifty thousand dollar cars wow. and the expensive travel and the smart kid and the, you know, you know, people be wondering sometimes why, why did this ship didn't, didn't come in in this lifetime? And and I know being on Facebook can be tough for some people when they see people glorifying God because of a special gift a special talent a special you know something happened you know and they didn't get that you know they 
they seeing people, um, you know, symbolize their children and they lost a child. And, you know, I know it's hard sometimes for people. You know, this is a really challenging time we're in right now. And that's and that's when you and I was talking about how important it was for us to put up that accredited school, because now it gives people a chance yes, to um to study at their own pace and to really understand the word of God and find out what is their, what is their purpose. Cause some people sit in there wondering, what am I, why am I existing? What am I here? And that's why, that's when people start mm. getting those creepy thoughts of taking their own life. You know, if they don't do it, they, they let the wow. police do it. I mean, how many times we don't even really know. Some of these guys are just letting the police take them out. We don't even know. You know, we don't know. Wow, what's going through that kid? Like, cause I've read about that before, where they said that the, the cops know that too. They know they talk about that. Mm. So, um, mm-hmm. you know, wow. with all that said, and mm. listening to Paula G, I know, you know, I hope that you know when we put up podcasts that it's, it's a bright spot in somebody's life. You know, where. We're taking someone's music and they're hearing it on the airwaves and, and they know people are listening to it because they know people are tuning in. You know, it's like so special to us here. And then, and then, um, when we have podcasters come on and share that testimony, that journey, that that's enough to lift you and say, Hey, if that person, you know, came from nothing, you know, they came from under a bridge, they came from a abandoned car, they came from being an orphan. And if they can make it and do it, so can I, you know. Wow. Yes. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. That's pressing your way through, yeah. Dr. Jerry Royce. Yes. Praise God. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, Dr. G. Dr. Paula G. <laughs> go ahead, man. <laughs> no, I was, I was wow. just kind of uh, tag teaming on what Jerry said. That's key because when you, when you have been, you know, some of our guests who have been through so much and they're sharing their journey. Yes. That person that's going through that same journey can relate, you know, um, to that journey. When you when you have something in common, mm-hmm. and you've yes. been through the same thing, and they hear this this testimony, and they hear where this person was, and where the person was is where someone is who is listening. You, you follow oh. me? You know where yes, where ma'am. they were. Our guest, someone who is listening. That's the place where, where where the person who is listening is 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 at. So when that our guest is kind of reaching back into the past, and I remember when I was under that bridge and it was you know cold, and all I had was a a candy bar for dinner. Someone who's listening to that is in that place, wow. that exact place. Yes. So they're hearing like they, it's it, it's almost like they say they're speaking to me because they know exactly what I'm going through because they've been through it. And just like Jerry said. It, I, it gives them encouragement because then it lets them know, okay, I see somebody, it's tangible. I can see somebody that's on the other side of where I am mm-hmm. right now. Amen. You know, somebody that's on the other side of, of where I am. I had a, a guest on, his name is Benjamin Graham, and he spent years homeless, under living wow. under a bridge mm-hmm. here in Atlanta. Wow. He spent years homeless, uh, drug addict, you know, went through all of that cleaned himself up, turned his life around, gave his life to God. He now owns a convenience store that's right next to that bridge mm. that he used oh. under that homeless bridge. When I tell you that man is a testimony to those people living under that bridge, because they look out and they see, okay, brother man used to be right here laying down mm-hmm. next to me, and now, you know, he's, he's, he's over, you know, homeless, and now he's over there and he, yeah. he's owning his own store. So if he can do it, I can rise above my circumstances also. So, yes, I think, you know, like I said, just piggyback on what Jerry said, that Thanks. that is the power in, in the guests that we have and with all of them sharing their testimonies to just, you know, take what God has taken them through to share yeah. that, to speak to others yeah. to, to so that, you know, prayerfully um, those individuals can come through their own struggles as well. That's right. Praise Amen. God. Mm-hmm. Wow. Yeah, that's support. deep. Support. That is, that is very profound. It's, mm-hmm. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Dr. Jared. Yeah. I was just thinking about support, you know, support system, just like here, mm-hmm. you know, we consider ourselves to be a family and people really don't know what you're going mm-hmm. through. Um, and Paula had mentioned that you know, her and I had a conversation. People really don't know what radio people are going through. And I know you guys, you know, know that mm-hmm. I'm producing a film on diabetes because I know that it's, it's something that 
and Tina and I talked about on her show that people really don't know a lot about. And just because they see you slim down and you clean yourself up and your your skin looking good and you're speaking well, they think that you're all mm-hmm. right. But they don't know what you what it takes to get you out their bed. And I remember talking mm-hmm. to Patrice. Mm-hmm. I said, Patrice, where do people go? Where are the advocates that when a person is going through something? You know, you know, you hear about your AA g- groups. You know, your, you know, people who dealing with alcoholism and and you know, sex addiction and this and that. I said, where's the where's the group set for the people dealing with diabetes? I'm confused. I don't know what's going on with, with me. And she said, Jerry, you should go right, out there. You right. should go out to Facebook. It got so much out there. And she was so right. And I made friends with two young ladies. And then after talking to my mentor about it, found out that he had he's dealing with it. And all this time, good looking guy, handsome man. You know, take out of the home. His wife, um, preparing for retirement. When he told me what he go through. I said, get out of here. I didn't know that, you know, so he shared it. Mm-hmm. And and then with these other ladies, then, then now you, you're grateful. And I said, hon, I just need help getting out of bed. <laughs> we got to go get a dog or something, <laughs> you know, because that was the problem. Wow. It was like, it's hard. It was so <laughs> yeah. much pain, you know, you know. So, like, the word grateful comes out, out of me when, when I think about, you know what Paula yeah. was saying about people really don't know what radio people are going through their hairs. And see, we're trying to do Man. what God asks us to do. And that's just to, to just like you guys said, bring people to the platform who's going through what you either been through or going to go through. And but they got the mm-hmm. antidote on, to help you through it, you know. So Yes, amen. Yeah. Yes, because we're not, you know, we, when, when I say we, I'm, I'm speaking for us, but also as a word of encouragement to the listeners, we don't wear our journey. You Come know, on. You, you, Come on. You, you, and that, because that's part of the testimony, not wearing your journey. Just because you don't see it displayed on the outside doesn't mean that it's not on the inside or there has not mm-hmm. been a journey. And I, and I just want to speak to something that Jerry said a, a, a while back when yes. he was mentioning, I think it was the pastors and just people who get depressed right. and, and consider taking their own life. I want to speak to those individuals and to let them know that suicide is a permanent solution to a temporary problem. Mm -hmm. Now, when I say temporary, a a temporary problem could last three, four, five years, but it's a temporary problem because there is life on the other side of it. It's a permanent Mm -hmm. solution to a temporary problem. And in other words, it's not a solution. You know, it's not, it may seem like it at the moment because you're in the midst, just like when I was referring to, you know, that late in the middle, midnight hour and you're, Mm -hmm. you know, you're sniveling and snotting on the floor and you you can't see your way out and it's just, you're just getting growing weary. All of that is part of this journey that we're talking about. It's all a part of the journey. We've all been through some phases of, of despair. I'm not saying we've all been through right. uh, uh, you know, thoughts of suicide. I'm not saying that. But I'm just saying we've all been through phases of despair. It's part That's of right. the journey. The challenge, hey, is, the challenge is to e- either keep going or to just, be still and, and, and listen for that still small voice and to keep you telling yourself that this is part of the journey. I'm going to get, I'm not stuck here. I'm not stopped. I'm not stopped here. This is a temporary part of the journey. God is on the other side of this. Victory is on the other side of this. But I've got to stay the course. I've got to stay the course. That's right. Stay yeah. the course. You don't look like what you're going through. Apology. That's what you're yeah. saying. Yes. Gary Lord said, grateful. Amen. Mm-hmm. He's grateful because you allowed God to just to help you press through, mm-hmm. press your way through. Mm-hmm. Amen. Yes, to your sir. victory, to your destiny. Amen. And James, James speaks of this. Amen. James one. Amen. He said, count it all joy when divers of temptation comes up on us. We have to learn how to press our way through our victory. Our breakthrough is on the way. Don't give up. Don't don't grow weary. That's what we're that's what we're saying tonight. Even in the brink of all this all this 
mass confusion, amen. And and on the other side of the song break, we're going to get a little deeper, amen, with Dr. Paula G, amen, and Batman. We're going to get deeper because she's already in the text, amen. We're going to we're gonna talk about how oh, we're going to go down to John 9, 1 through 7, amen, and we're going to focus on uh, how this this blind man, this this blind man was healed, amen, and, and he was healed because, amen, God saw him pressing his way through to his healing. Come on, somebody, amen. We're going to talk about this on the other side of the song break, amen. Stay with us, amen, and come back, amen. We're with the dynamite, Dr. Paula G, amen, Paula G's boys, amen, and uh, we're CEO and producer and, amen, our visionary, Dr. Jerry Royce. Stay with us. We'll see you on the other side of this song break. There's so much going on in the world today, but we don't have to worry. God's got it all in control. So just trust and know God cares and he cares for you. In a mansion made of stone in a shanty All alone God cares He cares God cares for you Whether black Or white All are precious In his sight God cares mm -hmm. Oh yes, he cares for you Or poor hmm. to the one in need to the beggar man or even to the thief God cares yes he does God
Hallelujah. God cares for you. Music by the legendary gospel singer Everett Drake. Yes, God cares for you. Thank you for tuning in with us. And I want to remind you all, the listeners out there, that yes, God cares for you in spite of the situation, in spite of your circumstances, in spite of whatever it looked like. Amen. God cares for you. Amen. Welcome back, amen, to Pastor's Time. Listeners, I just got a question for you out there tonight. What time is it? It's Pastor's Time. Amen. It's time, amen, to have a closer walk with Jesus. It's time, amen, to come out of, amen, those, those, uh, unresolved relationships and the, and the mixed up minds and the mixed emotions. It's time to come back to God, amen. It's time, amen, for us to sit down at the table, amen, at Jesus' table. Amen. And get back to what God has given us. Amen. We thank you for tuning in on PositivePower21.org, Worldwide Media, Christian Radio. We thank each and every one of you for tuning in with us. We're here tonight, amen, with the powerful, powerful Paula G. Amen. The host of Paula G. Voice. Amen. And, of course, Batman, Dr. Jerry Royce. Amen. We're actually discussing some powerful dialogue on tonight, amen, on the brink of mass gun shootings and bombings and situations that are that seems kind of uncontrollable amen god is still speaking to us amen to don't give in don't give in don't give in and do don't don't grow weary don't throw the towel in god has something for you there's a fact of the matter he's telling us to press our way through praise god dr paula g are you still with us ma'am I am still with you. <laughs> Hallelujah. Praise God. Batman. I know Doc. I, I, I want an apology. Does Batman get sleep? How, how does he do it? You know. I don't, I don't know how I, he do it. I have, to wonder, I have to wonder sometimes that therein lies the, <laughs> therein lies the name Batman. I have to wonder sometimes. <laughs> I, I hey, just man. Upside <laughs> When he gets tired, he gets upside down and keeps working. Just hang upside down, work, Lord. And keeps working. Listen, she heard it. Amen. She keeps working. Listen, y'all heard it. Amen. You know, that's a powerful. That, that man, bad are powerful. They're powerful. Amen. A lot yeah. of people don't know that. Praise God. They're, they're very important, too. Amen. They are. Um, it, it, in spite of the myths that are out there, they are mm-hmm. very, very powerful. I encourage people to just kind of just, just check it out. Literally, Nocturn, nocturnal creature. <laughs> nocturnal. My God. Nocturnal. Hey, man. Why are we sleeping day up? Yeah. You see my exactly. documentary? I gave you a documentary about that. Remember, Doc? You remember that, don't you? Yes. I remember seeing that. <laughs> Absolutely. Hey, you know, God has a sense of humor, too. Hey, Amen. Yes, he does. We were, I wanted to kind of, kind of bring this into... Uh, a connection where when Jesus in the Bible, uh, when Mark was speaking, amen, on how Jesus in the eighth chapter of Mark, how he was talking or how he was teaching them on God heals us in stages. Amen. Mm-hmm. He, he heals us in stages, literally. Amen. Mm-hmm. When they were concerned about uh, blind Barnabas or when they were, con- when they were uh, concerned about the blind man, Amen. Uh, Jesus asked them, you all are concerned about the wrong thing. The disciples, they were concerned about different things. Amen. But in this particular healing of the man at the pool of Siloam, I want to just kind of bring this in perspective of how Jesus heals us in stages. Even when we're going through Mrs. Paula G. And I'm going to, I'm going to bring this to you, ma'am. Amen. How God healed you in stages. Stages, Amen. The reason why I like to stay with Scripture, Amen. On 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 powerful powerful um, events in our lives, so people can relate that if it happened in the Bible, Amen. And God healed them; He certainly can heal us. He heals us, Amen. And, and yeah. I'm saying that, Amen. Amen. When He, we will quickly just kind of set the stage of what we're saying, Amen. When he healed the blind man uh, at the pool of Siloam, he took some dirt off the ground and made it with clay. But then he rubbed the clay over his eyes. Yeah. Now watch what he told them to do. 
he instructed the man, even when the people were questioning him, they heard the command from Jesus telling him to go and wash in the pool of Siloam. But you have to go back and look at that scripture in that text and allow God to kind of reveal, here we go again, reveal what he's saying. How can this man go and wash in the pool of Siloam? He's blind, number one. Mm-hmm. Now, secondly, Jesus has already put clay over his blind eyes. Y'all see where we're going with this, listeners? Amen. Mm-hmm. Now, giving him a specific instruction to go. Go and wash in the pool of Siloam. He didn't know what a pool of Siloam was unless somebody would take him there every day. But he did not tell anyone to help him. Paula G., the the message that God has for you tonight, God has has placed a a profound spirit over you and Dr. Jerry Royce, amen, and myself and my family and those who are connected in the spirit realm to go, go, Mm -hmm. go, 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 amen. Don't don't, don't worry about how we're going to get there. Just go. (laughs) Just go. That's right. That's right. Just go. And this is heavy, amen, because even when he began to go, he still didn't know which direction. He just, Jesus just said, now go and wash into the pool of Siloam. But even when he went, he washed his eyes and he still couldn't see, amen. But he said, he did say, he did say a remark like, I see me in his trees. So that just let me know, now watch this, he was restored. Yeah. Because he said, trees as men, how did he know what trees or men look like? This <laughs> brother had had to have some sight. Come on, somebody. Somebody <laughs> go shout out there. Amen. Amen. <laughs> he said, Jesus, I, I see men. I see trees as men. He told him to go wash again. Come on, somebody. <laughs> I think God is restoring us, Paul G., back to where he want us in the Garden of Eden, Eden to worship with him. Oh, I got to mm. give this to you. I'll be shouting, sister. Hey, man, mm. how has mm. God restored you in your healing stages? Just just share with the days and touch somebody out there and remind them, amen, to keep pressing through. Amen. He, your healing's thrown away. It comes in stages. God is going to heal. He's going to remove diabetes, Dr. Jerry Royce. He's going to remove it. He's going to remove it, but it comes in stages. Mm. Go, sister. Dr. Keller, be shouting. <laughs> <laughs> I, you know, as you were speaking, I'm, 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 I'm envisioning. He, he, we see at different levels because, see, when we're when we're thinking about sight, we're thinking about sight as we know it, the visual. Woo-hoo. Come on. So, I, you know, while the visual, there's an element of the visual. I, I, I believe that we see him and we see the journey in different levels. There are times, at least for me in my journey, like I was saying before, where I couldn't see where I was going, you know, but like I was saying before, just stepping out on that faith. And for me, that particular moment, the best way I can describe that sight moment was a feel. It was yes, a feel. Please. It's like it's like you know they say the light the light at the end of the tunnel. Yes, so yes, imagine please. that you're in that tunnel, mm-hmm. and they say that, and you're looking straight ahead toward that light at the end of the tunnel, but there is no light. Stay oh. with me. There is no light. You got your eyes wide open. You can't mm-hmm. see where you're going. But the but the but the vision of your faith. Yes. Are you with me? Amen. The vision of your faith, yes, allows you to keep moving forward. So, for me, the 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 sight was revealed at different stages of the Stage. journey. <laughs> it was revealed. Mm-hmm. At different, right so even like at the at the standstill stage where I couldn't see what direction he wanted me to go in, when I stood still at the moment that I that I got my spirit to just stand still and be still, then I could see that that is what he wanted me to do at that moment was wow. to was to stand still. 
And yes, the scripture is talking about the, the, the uh, you know, the man being blind, physically being blind. But a lot of times we're spiritually, spiritually blind too. You know, we're spiritual, but, and we're so busy looking for the physic, physical um, aspects or looking for the mm-hmm. physical signs that we don't look for the signs on other dimensions or other levels. Mm-hmm. So for me, the, the revelation came when I was still, when I inclined my ear, when I prayed, in fact, because I pray, I'm in, in the midst of a 40-day fast right now, Prayer and fasting, and let me just speak for a moment to the power of fasting and yes. praying. In during this journey, and we're about what ten days out to Easter. During this journey, my fast from Ash Wednesday to Easter has been six a.m. to six p.m. with um, no food, with one meal after six p.m. And during this journey, there are certain things that I've asked for. Uh, revelation of certain things. Mm-hmm. And yes. so as those revelations are coming, they're not coming with the natural eye. Wow. It's Come not on. coming with the natural eye. So, with, with, you know, as I'm reading this scripture and as you were, you were talking about, you know, how did he find his way to the, to the pool and he didn't know what this looked like and he didn't know what that looked like. Because we're thinking visual, you know, we're thinking with the man's right. eye, That's with right. the man's physical eyes. <laughs> But yet he yes. made his way. Isn't that right? He yes, made, he made his way. way. So God showed him. The, and you know, God is all these dimensions uh-huh. that we can't even uh, think of or imagine. So God showed him on, on, on a dimension that, you know, the average person, person couldn't see as a testimony to mm. the various dimensions of God and how as we continue to study his word and we continue to spend time in his word and just saturate ourselves with his word. We, we draw closer. We, we recognize his voice. We hear his voice. You know, if, if you're, if you get a phone call in the middle of the day and you just hear, Hey, on the other end of the phone, because you know that voice so well, you know, it's your spouse. But if it's someone that you haven't talked to in about a month or so and they just say, hey, you might have to ask them what? Who is this? Mm-hmm. It's the same yes. thing with our relationship with, with, with Christ. We've got to spend time with him each and every day. We've got to, we've got to uh, allow the dust from, from, from you, you remember what I was sharing with you all earlier about the... Uh, yes, ma'am. The, the, yes, <laughs> the ma'am. rabbi, I was, I was reading in my daily yes, word ma'am. today. Yes, and it, and it talked about how the young boys, uh, when they were called to follow the rabbi in, in the Jewish faith, that they would follow him so closely that the dust that came up from under his feet would cover them. And in the same, in the same analogy as we are followers of Christ, we've got to follow him so closely. We've got to be so close behind him that that dust that comes up from his proverbial feet just covers up with his grace, his mercy, his energy, his wisdom, his discernment, and all of those things that we need in order to live a God-centered life and, 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 and a life that continues to keep us focused and a life that continues to keep us on the path that he would have us to walk. So the, 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 uh, the blind man finding his way to, 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 the, to, uh-huh. the, to uh, the salon. The salon. <laughs> yes, yes, he, cause, oh. you know, he, he, his vision was on a different level. Mm. His vision was Stage. on a different level. Amen. Yeah, Call stages of Jesus. vision. <laughs> <laughs> Powerful sister. Amen. Dr. Dr. Jerry Royce, amen. We're going to give us some final thoughts on that, sir. Amen. On God, how he has delivered you, even, even in your circumstances, sir. Amen. Mm. In this in this healing process, in this stage of healing, such as the blind man. Jesus didn't take him by the hand back, man. Mm-hmm. He just said, go. That's right. But he was still blind. Go <laughs> ahead, <laughs> <laughs> man. Go ahead, Dr. You Jerry know, Wolf, Doc. Amen. And we're going we're gonna to allow Mrs. Paula to close us out in a prayer. Amen. But amen. it was some final thoughts on that, yeah, Dr. Jerry. You know, this, I, is, this is the deep. Y'all share this file. Share this file, yeah, uh, listeners. Share this file. And I'm going to tell you, um, Jesus heals a man born blind. I, f- I feel that exactly um, the way uh, Paula was breaking it down because I felt that way 
you know, um, finding about a, a disease that's, that's not curable and you feel like, you know, you're blind and you're just out there alone, feeling your way around, just trying to find salvation, trying to find an answer, trying to find substance or understanding what you're going through. You know, and there's no, and you, and you think you're walking by yourself all this time. The Lord is walking with you. Just sometimes you just can't feel him Come on, boy. because of the noise that Come we were on, talking Jesus. about earlier. There's just so much noise in our heads. But when you take the time and listen to him, and I, when I did that, remember what I started telling you about all this stuff that just started pouring out, all these ideas, all this yes. vision, you know, all this. Yes, sir. That he gave, you know, gave us to uh, to help lead his flock. You know, right, just like right now, uh, past the time, you know, who would have, who, who, I wouldn't have never guessed this in a million years. <laughs> never. Praise God. And I was, and I didn't see it coming. You know, I didn't see it. And look, and look now, you got a place where people can come and listen and learn, you know, mm. and, and gain some understanding, man. you know, where they didn't have any understanding or any leadership or any, anything that they can, put their hands on you know now you yes. we led them to this verse john 9 1 through 7 jesus heals a man born blind that's that's a remarkable story jesus jesus wow all right praise god yes it was a hey, oh, hallelujah there were a couple of men there amen dude. but it's good to have a uh, an anointed leader dr paul g to break it down amen there were a blind man and a man in another text and another uh biblical text, a man uh and uh the we got the pool of Salon, a man, and then you have the man at Bethesda, a man. Uh mm-hmm. these you, you have to be you have to be spiritually equipped, a man, to not get things mixed up. Mm-hmm. <laughs> amen. Yes. A man, yeah. especially, especially scriptorial. And I've seen it, sir. There was a wise man that said bubblegum teaching and preaching by the name of Dr. Jerry Royce. You got to be weird. You got to be. You got to. <laughs> when they start teaching and stuff, hey man, just just listen to them. You. <laughs> but Mrs. Paul, oh, here. this has been fun. Oh yes, yeah. man. Praise God. You try the spirit by the spirit, Amen. I I am excited tonight, Amen. But this is our time, Amen. Thank you, listeners, for tuning in. Praise God to this powerful segment of Pastor's Time, Amen. We ask to encourage you all to go out and purchase Pastor's Time Book Second Edition, Amen. That will hit the top one hundred paid, Amen, on December the eighteenth. Praise God, the top one hundred paid Amazon list. The book is remarkable. Because it talks about a lot of lot of what we talk about on Pastor's Time platform, triumphant victory, joy, even in the, even in spite of what's going on in the world today. God says, Amen, in Matthew six and thirty three, seek ye first the kingdom of God, Amen, and his righteousness and all these things. Sometimes people don't even stop it right that part right there, these things. What things? Amen. Positive power platform will be added unto you. Dr. Paula G, amen, will be added unto you. Amen. Jerry Royce, will, they know, I mean, it's just a small, small thing in scriptures, ladies and gentlemen, that we need to take heed to. All these things shall be added unto you. Amen. Mm-hmm. But we got to seek a relationship with God. Amen. Yeah. Thank you, Paula G, for your for your honorable time. Amen. And our CEO, Dr. Jerry Royce, film producer, Dr. Jerry Royce. Y'all go pick up, amen, next man up. Who I am. Powerful. Amen. Praise God. Show show Dr. Jerry Love, Jerry Royce and <laughs> Paula G some love on tonight. Praise God. And Big keep hearts. Dr. Bobby Big Jones hearts. in prayer. Hallelujah. Amen. Dr. Jerry Royce, yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> Amen. Paula G, do you mind taking us out in prayer? Praise God. I would, I would be it's some honored. final thoughts, man. <laughs> we need some more, Paula G. <laughs> yes. I would be honored to close this out in prayer. Thank you so much for your invitation this evening and just thank you for um, allowing me to share with your listeners and to share with you. And thank you, Jerry, as always. You know, I love you and I appreciate you. And I thank you for this opportunity to be a part of the Positive Power 21 
family. And I just encourage the audience to remember that the greatest conversation, ladies and gentlemen, you will ever have is the one that takes place in between your ears. What are you speaking to yourself? And is God a part of that conversation? Are you listening to his still, small voice? And Father God, we thank you so much for this time together this evening. Father, we thank you for the opportunity to share. We thank you for the fellowship, Father. We thank you for Dr. Bobby Jones, Father. We ask that you continue to keep him lifted, that you continue to cover him and bless him and all of those within his camp, Lord, as he continues to do what it is that you have called him to do and that he has done for a lifetime, Lord. We thank you so much for Pastor Ken and his ministry, Lord, and this show, Lord, and what it does in regard to ministering to your people, Father. And we thank you for him. We uh, ask that you continue to bless him and keep him to cover his household, Lord, and to do a mighty work in and through him to reach your people, Father. We thank you so much for my brother Jerry Royce and the Positive Power 21 platform, Lord. Lord, you know his journey, Lord, and you know his um, things that he struggles with and the things that, uh, challenges that he faces, Lord, as he continues on the journey to do what it is that you have called him to do, Father. So we ask that you continue to equip him with what it is that he needs to continue his journey to keep him lifted and to keep him encouraged, Lord. For all of our listeners, Lord, that are listening this evening, everyone within the sound of my voice, Father, I encourage, Lord, and bless each and every person, Lord, and I hope that something that was said this evening, Father, will encourage them to press their way through whatever it is that they may be dealing with, if it's a financial challenge, if it's a housing challenge, if it's a relationship challenge, if it's a Mm. job challenge, if it's an emotional challenge, if it's a challenge of of the thoughts of taking their own life, Lord, that is something that was said this evening will saturate Mm. their spirit and wash those negative feelings away, Lord, and fill them with the encouragement and the energy to press their way through, Lord, for whatever that they are dealing with right now is but a moment in time, Lord. So just reach down to them, touch them in some way to let them know that you are there, that you've got them, Father, and that there is victory on the other side, but they must press their way through, Father. Press their way through, regardless of the circumstance. Press their way through, Father. And and, and, and the scales that come off of their eyes, the scales that come off of their physical eyes, or the scales that come off of spiritual eyes, Lord, so that they can see clearly, Lord, to press their mm. way through whatever it is that they may may yes, be in, enduring at the, at the moment, Father. And if they're not able to utter a prayer to you, Lord, because they're in such despair, Lord. I just pray over each and every one of them that they lift their hand to you. Just cry out to you, Lord. You will hear their voice incline yes. their ears and meet them at their individual points thank of need. You. Father, we thank you for this opportunity mm-hmm. once again, Lord. We thank you for this fellowship, Lord. And as we go forward and we continue to do what it is that you have called us to do, Father, remind thank us. You, God. Remind each and every one of us as we press through on our individual journeys to press our way through. Lord, keep us encouraged with your with your word, Lord, or just with your spirit late in the midnight hour, Lord. If, you know, a lot of us wake up in the middle of the night sometimes and we can't go back mm. to sleep, Father. It is that time, Lord, when I know sometimes you're speaking to us, Father, and I just ask that each and every person that may awaken in the middle of the night, Lord, that they just incline their ear to you, Lord, and, and just to be still and to hear your still small voice, Father, and to hear what it is that you're speaking to them, Lord. We thank you, Lord. We bless you, Lord. We give you all the glory. We give you all the honor. We give you all the praise. It is in the mighty and matchless name of your precious Son that we all pray and we all say, Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Thank you. Praise God. Thank you. Amen. Thank you. Nation, you heard the beautiful prayer, Amen, by the beautiful anointed Apology, amen. And you heard from the powerful CEO of Positive Power, 
21.org Worldwide Christian Media Dr. Jerry Royce. I am Dr. Paul Kelly, your host of Pastors Time. Amen. We thank you. Amen. We love you. God bless this nation. Amen. Stay tuned for the anointed. Amen. Dr. T, God bless you. Amen. You are listening to Jerry Amen. Royce Live Worldwide Podcast. All right, family. We really appreciate everybody tuning in and and uh, hats off to Dr. Paul Kelly for another powerful, awesome Bible study. And also we want to thank our radio and TV personality, Paula G. from Atlanta, Georgia. And we hope you guys are having a problem with the broadcast. We're under a storm advisory here in the Merlin area. Keep us all in prayer. For those that are homeless, may someone pick them up, maybe a police officer or family or friend, someone get them to shelter. I'm Jerry Woods Live Worldwide, Positive Power, Double XI Christian Media. And coming up next, and give us a few minutes to reset Facebook. But you got Late Night with Dr. T. And she got an awesome spoken word artist, and she called herself Verse. So join us, y'all, with some spoken word from Verse. Amen. Amen. Hit it, Larry. Hi, I'm Larry W. Robinson, host of Gospel Updates, your gospel entertainment news report. And you're listening to Positive Power 21 Christian Radio with Jerry Weiss, live worldwide.
on HSM PM Pacific Time Navy. We all about that rock life. And if you want to join us, you only need to do two things. Number one. You need to tune in to Positive Power, Double XI Radio, the place where royalty rocks. Number two. Tell your neighbor, don't look to the left nor the right, because we're going straight to the truth with our girls. Hi, this is Rock Life with Zion, Zion Jones, listening to Positive Power, Double XI Christian Radio on Speaker Radio and Facebook Live. It's a little thing. All right, welcome to Late Night with Dr. T. I'm your host, Dr. Chanel Stewart, and I want to thank you all for tuning in with me. We got a great show for you tonight with a great guest joining me tonight. Hold up, you Doc. Absolutely Hold on not- one second. Doc, I'm sorry. Hold on. 